feel like a sassy suburban white mother baking cookies for her child's soccer <laughs> pageant. <laughs> soccer pageant. Yes, in my pug hey. glass. Hello, everyone. I have Hi. another person on my channel right now. Hello. This is I. <laughs> the camera's down here. So this human being is called Andrea. She's my friend. We both go to the same college. And we're in her apartment right now. Today we decided to do a little cooking video for you guys. Whoa, this is new. I've never done this on my channel before. <laughs> As you can see, it has been a long week. Um, it really has. It honestly has. So we're kicking back with oh, some wine. Drink to that. We're legal, by the way, so don't bust us. It's fine. For real. I've waited too long for this. <laughs> Just leave Grandma be. So we are going to make for you today some kind of detox <laughs> cookie. It only has like three ingredients. So while it sounds like I'm trying to be healthy, really, I'm struggling. And I have all of the ingredients required for these cookies, so that's what we're doing. Yay, detox! <laughs> I'm gonna take this. We're going on a trip. Yes. Hello. And a favorite rocket ship. Here's our beautiful set of ingredients. Really, you only need ripe bananas, peanut butter, cocoa powder, a big old bowl. You need like some spoons for scooping the ingredients. You need a fork to mash up the stuff and, and mix it. And <laughs> some Measuring cups. Oh, and some some salt. It calls for sea salt, but um, like I said, we're struggling, so. <laughs> I don't have the resources, Carol. This is a recession. Here's <laughs> the ladies that lunch. Aren't, Aren't they, they the, the best? Alrighty, we need to get these bananas okay. mashed into this magic bullet. All right, so we're moving everything over here so y'all can see it. Loud alert. Just pour the bananas uh, in the bowl, okay? And then these are three yeah. dangerously ripe bananas. Write in the comments below what you think this looks like, because I think it looks like something that came out of the back of something. Looks like my hopes and dreams. Oh. Here, folks, uh, for you at home, make sure your oven is preheated. Oh, 350 Fahrenheit, y'all. I feel like I should say something like, make sure you have your parent or guardian around. <laughs> Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Buckle your seat belts. Enjoy the ride. Half a cup of cocoa, right? Yeah. Yas, queen. Yas. And then a half a cup of the peanut butters. Right. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Eat it by the spoon. I do eat it by the spoonful. Do not, <laughs> do not test me. I can and will eat an entire jar of peanut butter in one sitting. Andrea tweeted one time, and I still think about this tweet late at night when I when I can't sleep. It's, um, Asterix, um, <laughs> eats spoonful of peanut butter for comfort, and I have never related to anything more in my life. Some people do cocaine. I <laughs> have I of peanut butter. Eat peanut butter, it's which really has the same effects, it except really for the does. negative ones. I think you're nuts. If you don't like <laughs> I have to excuse myself. Oh man. Alright. Oh. Right. It says to mash it up with a fork. Okay. Do you like my terriers? Got this at a thrift store for like a buck. Fight me, Carol. Fight. Mm, yes. It smells good. It looks like I don't know. It looks kinda like, like a brownie batter. It's actually not too bad. Kind of. Ooh, it's really dry. So what do you think the benefits are to having a three ingredient cookie recipe, Andrea? Um, not going broke. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking more about like the health. Cause like gluten free is a thing now and like this is gluten free. It's like gluten free, yeah. And I could be wrong, but I think it probably also counts as vegan. Right? Yeah. You're not putting a bunch of unnecessary crap into your cookies. Andrew's a big advocate of vegan eating, and I appreciate that. I'm not like a full-time vegan. Let me make that huge disclaimer well, that's now. that's why I said you're an advocate. Yeah. You're not a, it's, it's not like, your full-time job, yeah. it's like part-time. I'm like just trying to get all the fats out of my diet, you know what I mean? Did we mention that they need coconut oil? I'm not an expert, but I think <laughs> that will work. You can also use like cooking spray or you can use butter if you want. 
or you can use coconut oil. Oh, oh, oh. That actually looks better. Oh. Get yourselves a cookie sheet. Yes, girl. Get yourselves the coconut oil. Oh, how are we putting this on the sheet? We're just using it. We could. Can you tell we know what we're doing? <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I'm just spreading it around. I'm sure you guys would be doing a better job of this than me. This is my first time spreading coconut oil on a cookie sheet, and I think honestly, I'd give myself a beat. It said like a tablespoon. This is the real deal, folks. This is the real deal. This is what dreams are made of. That one is significantly bigger than the other one. <laughs> Would you judge me if I lick this? No. It's not gonna taste like much though. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. Yeah, it doesn't taste as coconut as you think it would. I was expecting straight up like how coconut ice cream tastes. Yeah. Left it to you. <laughs> oh, that one. Look at her. <laughs> She's not doing so hot. Mm. These honestly look like turds. <laughs> Gonna lie. I mean, yes, you're not wrong. But we're gonna put this in our bodies in a couple minutes, and so that'll be fun. I'm gonna taste this dough. I'm gonna do it. Tastes like a lot like dark chocolate. Freaking Google. Meanfake.com. <laughs> 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 I should have known better. It's not bad, but it does just taste like <laughs> dirt. <laughs> is this why the salt okay. is needed? Oh! Oh yeah. Oh, that looks cute, actually. Look at it's their, like they're decorative. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So now, when you're done with these, you put them in the oven for how long? Eight to fifteen. Update. Um, the cookies. We put them in for 11 minutes and that wasn't enough, so we put them in for an extra three minutes and that wasn't enough, so we put an extra two minutes. They still taste like dirt and we've kind of tried to make some sort of sauce to put over it. We're totally improvising. What we put in here is we put coconut oil, coconut shreds, brown sugar, and peanut butter. And we put it in here and it ended up looking kind of like oatmeal. Oh, oh and Lizzie's here. You want to say hi? Cookies. We're making a video. Hello. <laughs> She came because we called her and we were like, we need help finding a sauce for these cookies. And she was like, okay, I'll be right over. This actually doesn't taste bad, but it looks like cream of wheat. Look, look at the texture though. Literally like, all I wanted right, was a cookie. We're, we're taking these out of here. The texture is like, I don't know what it's supposed Has to be. Did it ever actually like get cooked? I don't know. It's like... They, they don't even smell bad. They actually smell really good. Yeah, but they taste like dirt. It tastes like really dark chocolate. Here's what they look like. Shit. They still look the exact same. The and exact I think, same. well, Lizzie said that we don't have a, what is it? A leavening agent. A leavening agent, which I believe is flour. It's gonna um. make it better though. Right? <laughs> Dude, Please. Andrea, look at us. We literally <laughs> tried to make one thing and we have to call in backup. If and they taste a, like poo. If it's and they not look a like poo balls. Bowl, I'm done. Like, you should have made smoothie bowls. That would have been time. so much easier. Next okay, time. next time. Okay, so here's we uh we spoon them from the cookie sheet onto the plate, and it looks like I literally just took a scoop of garden soil and put it on the plate. Yeah! So Lizzie made a delicious sauce made of what is in there? Coconut flakes, coconut oil, peanut um, butter, peanut butter, brown sugar, and a little bit of brandy. Oh, no wonder it tastes so good. She's gonna drizzle it on and make these cookies actually taste legit. These already look really good. They look like molten chocolate balls. We, we tried. <laughs> yep. I'll impress you all in some other thing, but not with cookies, clearly. I'm, I'm so scared. domestic, it's not even funny. She's such a mom, look at her. Look at her with her glasses half down her nose. I love you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna freaking eat the crap out of these, right? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. So scared. I'm so scared. Okay, I think it's here. Cheers. Cheers. So our first cooking video. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster. Okay. Well, the only thing good about this is the sauce. <laughs> I'm just. I'm done. Moral of the story, folks. When you try to be healthy. It ends up tasting like dirt. So, you literally might as well just buy the Chips Ahoy from Walmart. That's what I'm like. <laughs> just get the Betty Crocker brownie mix and enjoy yourself. There I mean, are any up. 
vegans out there that know a, like an actual recipe mm. that works and tastes good, I am all ears. Comment below. Comment. Like, please let me know. Are you gonna eat it? I'm gonna eat another one. Okay. <laughs> you too. Because the sauce is that good. All right. So signing off. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably be doing more collab videos in the future. Because <laughs> this was fun, even if it was horrible. Mm. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mom!